Hey everyone, this is Sam from Wargamer Online, and um, we've got another quick tutorial today. Very, very quick, fast effect video. This is how to make a demonic looking weapon or something that looks like it's possessed. It's only using three washers and a base coat. So it's really simple and it requires no effort whatsoever. Now, this was taken from a tutorial on the website, wargameronline.com. If you are a premium member to the website, you don't need to watch this video because you'll have probably already seen it. And that video is the full 23, 24 minute video on this Abaddon model. Uh, this is from Wargame Exclusive, the actual model itself. And you could also um, watch that tutorial to see how to paint Black Legion models. So I'll go over a lot of stuff in there, um, but you do need to have a premium membership. Uh, however, the, if you want to make an account for free on the website, just go on over there and set up an account. So to begin with, the entire sword is just going to be painted with lead belcher. Now, um, I haven't put a step in here with washing the actual sword beforehand, but you could do that if you just use Norn Oil or Agrax Earth Shade just to give it a little bit of a shade before we do the next step. Uh, it will help. It doesn't necessarily need it though. It's um, We're going to add a bunch of washes now for the next bit. So what we do is we get Juchi Violet, we get Gilliman Blue, which is a glaze, and we get Bloodletter, which is a glaze. And we start off by just slapping Juchi Violet onto the sword, and it doesn't have to be neat or there's no specific areas, we just chuck it wherever you think it needs to go. And then while it's still wet, grab a bit of the Gilliman Blue and then put it somewhere else on the sword and mix it in with some of the purple do the same with the red and we're just putting it in different areas you can see I'm mixing it with the blue I'm mixing it with the violet and uh, that's it that's pretty much as simple as it is and you let it fully dry you can see I've put it on quite thick let it dry and then it will just tint the weapon so it'll have a mix of purple blue and red all over the blade and I'm just doing it on the other side again I'm starting with the purple at the base and at the tip of the blade grabbing the blue and I'm mixing it with the purple just going to put some at the bottom there as well and then I'm going to grab the red and I'm going to do a little bit more of a mix of that there and it's quite a straightforward uh, method it doesn't require any effort as you've seen anybody can do this but it looks quite nice if you want to do something that looks like a demonic weapon or a possessed weapon it works perfectly well for it so uh, I hope you enjoyed the quick tip it was very very fast let us know if you're going to be using this or if you're you do use it, put a picture up on the forum of your finished uh, weapon or whichever model you've done this on. And thank you very much for watching this video and uh, give us a like. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, we do appreciate everybody who subscribes. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I think one day we'll get there and uh, it will be a glorious day. But uh, for now, I'll leave you with the spinny video of this not a bad because <laughs> it's not a bad but it, it is. It's an abaddon model. Looks really, really nice. Anyway, thanks for watching.